All right, let's do some beautiful salmon here. So I love the 455 sauce on the salmon. The mustard in it, the garlic in it, the mojo in it, it's really all you need. I'll put a little bit on like that. Then we'll brush it. We're gonna use the Cuban dust. Just dust it a little bit. Not too much. We wanna put it skin down. This side over here is the belly fat, my favorite. Now we'll see if it survives. We'll see how good we are getting it out of that grill. Cause sometimes it's so thin that you're not able to take it out properly. But let's give it a shot. What I did is I got my grill going. Before I put it on, I'm shutting off the middle. I'm leaving the two outside. Burners on. We're gonna carefully lay it there. I'm gonna close it, and then we're gonna go come back and visit it, and I'll show you how to take it out. All right, so we're gonna get ready to get our salmon out. What's important is you wanna have that spatula hot. If it's not, it's not gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna have a better chance of uh, not being able to remove it from the skin. So I'll, I'll basically just take it over here, put a little heat on it. Then I'm gonna remove the salmon from here. I'm gonna transfer it over to the flat top, and then we're gonna transfer it over to the plate, and, it, and it'll be done. So you wanna start with the bigger side first. We put the spatula underneath the skin. Now the belly fat over here, that, that was, you could either have cut it off if you wanted to, because it's gonna separate at this point. We'll get that off next. But you wanna remove the salmon like this, beautiful cut. I wanna sear the bottom of it, so I have this flat top here where I'm gonna be able to do that. I put it on the flat top. I made the bottom of it crispy. I'm gonna remove it from the flat top. I'm gonna to plate it, dust it just a little bit. All right, so you're probably wondering what happened to that beautiful piece of belly fat that's on the grill. Well, I'm not gonna tell anybody because what I like to do with this this is what I call the chef's cut. It's a little snack for me. That's why it's on a non-fancy plate. A couple things I want to talk about with this uh, delicious salmon. So you don't want to flip it, okay? You probably noticed that when I took it off of this grill, I did not flip it. The reason for it is this grill was 450 degrees, right? Remember I told you we should cut off the center ones off? At that point, it was already cooking. It did not need to be flipped. And if you don't have a flat top like I do over here, what you can do is transfer it over to a pan at the end so that you can crisp the bottom of it. You don't wanna overcook salmon. Usually my little trick is when I start seeing some of the fat from the salmon pop up and it's white, you'll see these little white dots coming up, then I know that I'm there. The other thing I noticed is the 455 sauce was starting to caramelize. You started seeing a bubble on top and starting to get slightly brown. That's how I knew it was time. Removed it from there, put it on the flat top, made it crispy on the bottom, and then I actually let it sit. You wanna do that, maybe about four minutes, five minutes, it'll continue to cook, and then it's just absolutely awesome. Mm.